Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Mad Tea Party. Hope you're ready to spill the tea. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming back yet again. <laughs> and if you are new here, I am Derek. And I'm Ryan. And today we have for you an amazing unboxing from our friends over at Pixie Dust Apothecary. We are a huge fan of the theme boxes over at Pixie Dust Apothecary. I don't know if you've seen them. Check them out. We have already uh, picked up the Princess and the Frog. It was incredible. Amazing. So today we are sharing with you um, one that I have been waiting for. The Briar Rose. Make it blue, make it pink. And then literally... It felt like a week later they put out a new one that was specifically meant for me, maybe? And it is the Bruno box with both Silencio Bruno and We Don't Talk, talk about, about Bruno. Bruno. Mm -mm -mm. Um, I want to start by saying my very first candle that I bought from Pixie Dust Apothecary was Silencio Bruno. And I don't know if it's because of that or not, but it is literally my favorite candle ever. So that is like... What was the first one that I bought? I don't know. Was it Colors of the Wind? It was Colors of the Wind. Yeah. yeah. But when they announced this box, I was like, I've already been planning on buying a new Silencio Bruno because mine is like almost kaput because I've been savoring it. So I was so excited when it got paired with the new Bruno. So let's get started. So we are going to start with the... Sleeping Beauty box. Um, I'm so excited. Uh, the Make It Blue, Make It Pink is our favorite part of Sleeping Beauty. I, I don't really love... I'm, I mean, I like Sleeping it's Beauty. It's actually my favorite of the old princess movies, mm -hmm. but um, the Make It Blue, Make It Pink color war is my favorite. Inside, we've got this postcard here. It's so cute. Um... It says, Dear Ryan and Derek, no matter how much these scents may tempt you, stay away from spindles. Pixie dust apothecary. Will do. Thank you. No promises. Ooh, I already love it. There is blue tissue paper oh. and pink swoozles. You make it blue and then you make it pink. Make it blue. Did I say the right word? Swoozles. Make it blue. Make it pink. <gasps> oh, and the labels are blue and pink, too. That's so cool. All right, let's open these up. All right, I'm going to let you do this one okay. because you prefer the blue I'm rose. I'm definitely a Meriwether. <laughs> I'm going to do the pink one because I prefer the pink dress. Make it pink. All right, let's make it pink. I know the pink one is supposed to be a sweeter scent. Oh, okay. It's supposed to be a woodsier scent. Oh, that's perfect yeah. for us. Check that glitter out. It's pink with a good blue sparkle. Who doesn't love that? It smells very sweet. It's very fruity. I love it so much. I actually really like that too. It's... Smell happy. It's very happy. Um, it's got just enough fruit and floral. Mm -hmm. Like I have said before, I'm not a heavy floral person, and that is a really nice scent. I like that. I love this a lot. All right, make it blue. First of all, I have a feeling. Yep. Oh my so god, beautiful. it is so beautiful. We have a nice blue candle with pink sparkles all over and it has a floral scent. Ooh, that's exciting too. Sort of a powder as well. Ooh. Yeah, it's a very oh, make it blue. The lights just changed. Yeah, it's it's very clean, which I feel like I say about a lot of these candles, but it smells very like it's almost, and I may be wrong, um, it's almost the ozone kind of scent that whenever... Yeah, it smells very natural. Whenever, whenever, because we've gotten a couple candles that have been called, like, that have an ozone yeah. um, scent, um, and it, I don't know that that's in here, but it smells very fresh, sort of like that. We're going to look it up before this video is over. So, the Make It Pink, we looked into it, uh, the... In Scent profile there includes fig, pear, and white musk, which we smelled all of those. Yeah, fig is one of my favorite fruits mm -hmm. ever, and I'm pretty sure white musk that makes is... me happy. It smells like my childhood. Uh. I don't know. And then our yeah. Make It Blue has apple, oak, vanilla, and briar rose. And I think that briar rose is what kind of is bringing in that florally yeah. powdery uh -huh. kind of scent. I definitely get all of those. And actually, 
the vanilla now that I've read it totally and the apple it makes me want to go on a hike I want to go hiking yeah let's go it's pretty good let's go our next box is the Bruno box and if you can't already tell Luca has kind of become one of my absolute favorite movies I would say almost favorite Pixar movie yes Favorite Disney and Pixar? I don't know. I know. Not almost. You, I mean, that's definitely your favorite. No, I mean, so, favorite Disney. Oh, like, if we threw it in with I mean, all Disney. I would give you that No, too. but favorite Pixar movie, it is hands down my favorite. It's really good. Um, It just reaches into my soul, and I love it. So, we have a beautiful, oh, we've got a beautiful card here that has um, Italy on there, I'm assuming. I mean, I'm just making a big assumption, and there's no really tight, there's no thing, so I'm going to say it's Italy. <laughs> and it says, Dear Derek and Ryan, enjoy your Bruno box. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Oh, it makes me want to just say, you got me off the island, Luca. I'm okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, so as you open it up, the coloring inside, you have these beautiful green and yellow Foozles? <gasps> I got it. So we've got the Foozles. Now, I'm going to go to my favorite scent, my favorite movie, my favorite everything, and go straight to Silencio Bruno. Ooh. And so, I'm already going to tell you, it's gorgeous. Oh, my God. So, we have a nice light blue, and it's got a spattering of green and darker blue um, sparkles on it. It just reminds me, and I Sorry, like to... could you say that again? My apologies. I couldn't hear what you said. <laughs> no, thank you, Siri. My favorite thing is that, like, this, like, puts an image in my head mm -hmm. of being on the island before they go into um, the mainland and just the two boys having so much fun on that island and what the sea spray must smell like yeah. as they're, like, flying over with their Vespa. And it's just got such a fresh, almost like the plant life and the saltwatery sea spray at the same time. It's, if you have not gotten Silencio Bruno, you definitely should. Yeah, this one is a trip to the beach. Like, so good. Such a good scent. All right, now we're excited to smell this one. The brand new We Don't Talk About Bruno. And there it is, and it's all golden glory. So cool. I kind of love that it's like kind of almost the color of the candle oh. in Encanto. Like it is. Was that your intention, Allie and Pete? If that was your intention, good job. The candle of the casita is literally this. Now, okay, I'll get let you smell first. Okay, okay, okay. One. It's very light. It in is a really good light. wet, like yeah, in yeah. a wonderful way. I can't place it. It's it's got almost like not cedar, but yeah. some sort of wood that is a good smell of a wood. There's also some kind of spice or it's that magic flooring in the casino. It is, and I do know um, when I. I actually spoke to Allie about this one, and she said it smelled like what she thought the casita smelled like, and oh, I actually I totally that. agree that this yeah. is, like, it's a nice, subtle smell that it's like they keep it, the casita keeps itself clean, and it and smells... And plants grow inside of it, so you can yeah. also smell the floral. Of, but yeah, opening up the, the door natural. into the casita, this is what, this is what I feel like it would smell mm -hmm. like. Now I want... I want a candle for each of the rooms in the casita. Isabella's room and Antonio's room. I don't know what that would smell like, but it could be cool. Um, Louise's room. What would that smell like? Heavy thing. Sweat. <laughs> it would smell like gasoline from cars that she's lifting. <laughs> Does she lift cars? I don't know. She lifts everything. There are no cars at this point in time. Okay, fine. I don't know. It smells like the donkey. smells like watermelon she's smashing. But the actual sense here... Silencio Bruno is a, um, the scent notes are orange, lemon, violet, basil, and musk. 
and you definitely get those citrusy smells mixed with that basil it gives you that really nice fresh fresh ocean smell yeah. i feel like just out on the beach um and the we don't talk about bruno candle the scent notes in there berry coconut citrus and sandal it's the sandalwood yeah. that is what it is it's interesting berry is in there that makes sense i definitely yeah. smelled that give me that again yeah. What an interesting combination that I would have never thought to... I would never think that that would be so incredible. We ended up purchasing the Max Magic version of these. We do like to have a bigger candle to burn, so we ended up getting... Ours are all 8-ounce candles. Um, ours clocked in at $30 a box, um, which for two candles... Priceless. And these priceless. are priceless. And four ounces just isn't enough. They for us. so quick. We but burn them a lot. For you, if you were afraid of a scent, um, not afraid of a scent, but if you were unsure of one, the four ounces is a great introductory. Yeah, and it goes fast. These come in the four ounces as well, and I believe they are priced at fifteen dollars. Um, but they are they're just amazing. They really are. And just for you. Why don't you take 15% off of your first order? Why don't you try that out? Hey, it would be great. In fact, we're How gonna- How could they do it? You know what? There's a code. It is R-Y-D-E-15. That's for ride or die. Ride or die. Or- Write it down. Ryan and Derek. But yeah, ride or die. Write it down. Write it down. As always, thank you so much for joining us. If you are curious about our channel, make sure to subscribe. Or off with your head. So that you can get some more videos. Also, leave us a comment down below. What is your favorite scent? Have you gotten either of these boxes mm -hmm. and smelt these? Or outside of these four candles, what is your favorite scent from Pixie Dust Apothecary? My personal favorite is still Topsy Turvy from the Hunchback Alchemist special in January. Not gonna lie, it is a top top contender we're still like i we haven't let it go we i've stopped burning it because i'm afraid when it'll be gone which i need to just let i'm also pretty sure after silencio bruno um my number two right now is pining for main street oh yeah it, i've been burning that a lot i am a big pine woodsy smell and that one is just top notch absolutely and i and i really think i'm gonna really like this make it pink a yeah. lot a lot I really like the Make It Blue, but I would love that Make It Pink. Woo! But please, leave us a comment about your favorite. And also, if you enjoy the video, give us a thumbs up. Oh, yeah. And, as always, have a golden afternoon. Bye-bye, y'all. Bye-bye now. Bye. Bye now. Bye-bye now. Bye. -bye now. Bye. Bye.